Hey guys, so finally today, finally, I know you guys have been asking for this for so long. I wasn't planning on it taking this long. I had some problems with things that I needed for my room before I could finish it. So finally it's finished. Finally I get to show you guys what it looks like. So today we're doing a room door. Let's get started. All right, so this is the back of my door. Not much to show here. I don't, I think I got that letter from Target in case you're wondering. <laughs> okay, so this right here behind me, it is probably one of my favorite things about my room just because it's so functional and just so nice for like what I need right now. So I come in, first thing that I do when I come in is I put my keys because it would be bad if I lost my keys. So I put them there and then when I'm leaving, I just do the same thing, take them off. Then also I have these other hooks that I found. So all these hooks are at Target, um, but I found those hooks and I put my masks on them. So it's super nice because I have like clean and a dirty pile. Um, then I have a bunch of masks in my car and in my backpack and stuff, but that's nice for keeping them organized. And then I always have masks like when I'm leaving, I can just grab one right there, stick in my bag, whatever, stuff like that. So super nice, highly recommend for anybody, honestly, just because those hooks are from Target, super easy, but it's just so nice to have that right next to my door. Okay, next up over here behind Whatever this is, back in my closet, I guess. I have these wall hanging plants so you can see the top of them all the way down. So, the idea for this, so I know in like a lot of college dorms and at least my apartment building, you can't like nail anything. So, I was like, oh, I don't know where to put there. Like, it was kind of just an empty wall. I wasn't really sure what to do, but then I saw these at World Market the plants and the hangers. It's called like macrame plant holder or something like that. Um, and I thought it was perfect. So they're just on like manned hooks and they have different ones at Target. They have some that can like hold heavier weight. So, I got some that can hold a little bit heavier weight and I haven't had any issues with them. They've stayed up all time and I think they just look super fun. So, okay, next I'm going to show you guys this chair. So, that's what it looks like. It's kind of dark in here right now, sorry. Okay, so after I finished my room, we had a little bit of extra space in this like corner right here. And I thought like, oh, it's probably be smart to have some extra seating. I wasn't really sure what to do because there's not like a ton of space in this room. But then in Target, found this chair. Um, it's part of, let me see what the line is. I believe it's part of Studio Miggy. I think that's how it's said. Like her collection um, at Target, it was perfect. It works perfectly. And then the pillow on it is also Target. The blanket was a graduation gift, so I'm not really sure where it came from, but I think they made it um, and I just used it as a throw pillow and then of course my guitar back there keep it with me everywhere i go it's a taylor guitar in case you were wondering but <laughs> it's back there so it's kind of a perfect little like hangout little study area and my guitar area perfect just kind of for extra seating um super super nice so this is actually my closet i didn't like just love my clothes kind of being on display i do try to keep my closet pretty clean but it still just like looked cluttered you know so i got a shower rod and these curtains from Target, set it up. That was definitely something super nice. And then obviously my closet is in here. All my clothes. These bins I got from Target and I have so many of them, but that's been super nice for like extra storage. So if you have like shelves in your closet and you need more space or just more storage, definitely liked that. That was a good ad. And all those clothes are from Lash Next Door. Almost all of them, not even kidding. Okay, so this is kind of my bed area. This is usually where I spend most of my time. Even if it's studying, Zoom classes, I'm always pretty much over here. Um, this lamp back there is from at home. Just kind of adds a little bit of light. That's something I wanted. Um, kind of just studying, you know, a little study lamp, something like that. Then of course, the bed. So this section definitely took me a long time to kind of nail down. Wasn't really sure what I wanted. Um, I knew I wanted a Betty's bed, so that's the kind of bedding that I have. So it like zips up um, when I get in and out of bed super easy for like making my bed, especially because that whole edge of the bed is against the wall. Super, super nice. I love it. As a college student, I love it. And I also just like the white, like it's pretty neutral and it works really well with the wall. So that was kind of my big thing is I wanted my room to match the color scheme of the wall. Obviously I put tons of colors in here. And I finally found the perfect duvet to match the blues in the wall. So this duvet is from Annie Selk, I think. I, I've had a hard time pronouncing that since I got this. I'm pretty sure it's Annie Selk. Um, and it's called the Gridwick Robin's Egg Blue Duvet Cover. I'm reading off my list in case you're wondering. This worked perfectly with the room. But of course, the thing I was most excited for in this entire room was this wall collage because I've been working on it for literally so long. So pretty much the reason why I decided to make my own is because I had one in my old room and everyone asked me if I was gonna make my own. That was the original idea was to have that one up just temporarily and then like replace it with my own pictures. Then it just took so long. Like I wanted to make it perfect 
perfect and I always wanted more pictures that they matched better and finally like I don't even know like three years later finally got it to where I wanted so this is the final set there are a total of 85 pictures so you get a ton of different pictures there's also some like drawings quotes things like that but all of them are pictures that I've taken or created um, and then also there are a few that my grandpa took so my grandpa so he has so many pictures of just his life and things he did he traveled a bunch he loves going to Hawaii that's like his favorite thing so he has pictures of Hawaii then he has pictures of like my aunts and uncles and my grandma and like all these super super cool old vintage film photos and it's just like one of my favorite things is going through his pictures so he let me take a few of his pictures and add them to my set which is super fun because it's like a little familial aspect but it's also just super cool so such cool pictures I don't know they're just awesome so I did post a um, thing on my story my Instagram story asking if you guys had any questions about it and overall you guys were so 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 excited so I'm super excited for these to sell out because I think from the amount of people who said they want one and who have been asking me for months where it is and where it came from so it is now live on our website but there is very limited quality so if you want one you have to go like right now because it's perfect for holidays and I'm thinking lots of people are gonna buy it for like Christmas presents birthday presents anything like that so this is just perfect I just am so excited about it because it's all my hard work but you get to select which pictures you want um, well it comes in a box of 85 you get to kind of make the creative decisions which is super fun you get to decide where you want them and if you want them to overlap or just want them straight or how many you want or if you want the whole wall filled or which ones you want up so it's super fun kind of fun activity is like building the wall like you get the set but then you get to kind of create like the final look so this is what you will get this one hasn't been opened yet it has all the sets they're not glossy it's just in it's just wrapped together so they're printed on eight and a half by 11 paper and they have a matte finish. I was very particular about the finish, so trust me guys, it's good stuff. So I just used um, tape to put mine up. You can do painter's tape if you're worried about the tape falling off or breaking the paint or something like that. You can also use Zots. That's what I used in on my set last time in my old room and that worked perfectly. I haven't had any problems with them falling off or anything like that, so I think you should be good, but they are live on the site right now. So go check them out, oaklandbaileyshop.com. And this is our wall collage set and yeah. Super pumped about that. Okay, now we have my desk. The desk was a little bit hard because it was built into the wall, so I didn't like have a ton of range of like desk choices. So that's why I decided to put vinyl on it. So this, or I mean, this is contact paper. So this is just marble contact paper that I put on the top and it peels right off. Like you can put it on walls, you can put it on your desk, you can put it on anything and it doesn't do any damage. It just stays there. Um, stays like I've had any issues with like a tearing or anything like that. It just kind of makes everything match a little bit more. So I wanted this marble contact paper. Um, I got it from Target. It was a little bit hard to find, but that was probably because it was like move in season. So everybody's probably getting it. You can get it from Target. Okay, then also in this corner, just as a little decoration, this little gold jack thing I got from At Home. So I had never heard of At Home before. I guess they have some in Utah, but then when I was back in Texas, they had some there too. But if you ever need to decorate a room, I highly recommend going there. They just have such fun like little knickknacks and just like tons of them. It's like Ikea, but just like tons of little decorations. And so it's super fun to go and like pick out different ones because they had a ton of different options, lots of different things. So it was a really fun little store. I got that from at home. Then this plant back here is an aloe vera plant. I got it as a graduation gift and it's somehow still alive. I also don't remember the last time I watered it, so that's probably not great, but looks like it's doing okay. Then the lamp next to it I got from Target. I had this one in my room um, in Texas. It's not the same one. I just bought another one. I like this one because you can kind of like move the head a little bit, so that's kind of nice. Um, and then yeah, this little pencil holder little pen holder which just had a whole bunch of stuff and I got this also from at home pretty much all the little knickknacks that I have I got from at home so I don't think you guys can really see this chair right here I'll do a close-up of it in a second but I did um, buy this chair from Target I wanted like a little bit more comfortable chair than what came in the room so I like changed out the chairs and I got this from Target and this one is super nice I really like this chair also I hook all my bags on it so that's kind of nice works for a bunch of different stuff all right now we have these bookshelves which they're not even really bookshelves I have five books but they have others on them so so for this bottom shelf I got this little thing from at home I told you again all the knickknacks are are all from at home. Then of course these books, which are actually just the twins books. Um, they were letting me read the series, so right now they're just there because I'm reading it. Um, but they're kind of working as decorations too. And then this candle I got from Target, it smells so good. I haven't ever burned it because I'm not supposed to burn candles here, but it smells good. And then this plant I got from at home. And then also I just have this little, what is it like called, shelf paper? I'm not sure exactly what it's called. Um, but you can get a variety of different options from Target or Walmart or anything like that. We always put it in our house. I'm just 
just because it looks a little bit nicer and it keeps things from getting damaged. Um, but that's just kind of something we always do. I don't know, kind of looks a little nicer, I guess. My dad cut and measured all of them. Okay, then the next shelf, you guys can see. So that basket right there is from at home. These are from World Market. That I got as a Christmas present. It just holds like my jewelry and then of course more books. So that basket right there is holding a whole bunch of my camera stuff. Super nice again, just kind of functional but still decorative. And then of course the top row. That has plants from at home. I got all these plants from at home. Um, they have a super nice selection there. And then all my cameras are up there. So I feel like we did a pretty good job in this room. Like there wasn't a ton of storage but making things like storage but still look nice. And that's something that I found is really nice. I have a little bit of storage under my bed so this is what my bed looks like whoa can't see anything so these are just drawers that come under my bed um so i have like my pants and stuff like that and then i need a little bit more so i got those from the container store and those just hold like the rest of my clothes pretty much and then i have that extension cord um something that is kind of nice is i can run cords like up behind here i don't know if you can see that so i kind of run my phone cord like back there and then stick it right there so it's like tucked in but then it's still close to me <laughs> i don't know i just kind of like that it's nice Stand was perfect. It's from Home Goods, and I just think it's so cute. We got it like on sale too. Like it was not as expensive as it looks like it should be. It looks like it could be from Urban Outfitters. And then just these fun little knickknacks again from At Home, At Home, and pretty sure that's from At Home too. So all of those. That was it. So this little section underneath my desk, this plant, I just kind of got to cover up the trash can and the printer. Got that from at home. Basket is from at home. It's not supposed to be a trash can, but I use it as a trash can. And then of course my printer, my Canon printer. So that's what this little corner looks like right there. And then we have my mirror piece. So this kind of mirror style is like super in right now. I'm not sure. I can't remember where exactly you got this exact mirror. There are tons and tons of different websites. So I'll just link a bunch of websites where you can get mirrors like this. Um, this is like, I need a little bit bigger one. Just kind of fill this wall. It was kind of just a wall. <laughs> I didn't really have anything. So I really like this mirror. Perfect ad. Opened up the space so much. I love it. And then this rug is from World Market. Fun. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching my room tour. I know you've been asking for it forever. For forever, I guess I should say. Here's kind of the last view of everything. Um, yeah, I really like my room. It's nice and cozy. Um, just what I need. I don't really need anything bigger, um, but it still holds everything. So I feel like it's a pretty good size for a college apartment. I do have five roommates. Um, so we have a kitchen, living room, laundry room. We have three bathrooms, um, but like I don't really want to show any of that stuff. <laughs> so this is just my room. Um, maybe you'll see the rest of the pictures and stuff like that. We do have a pretty big apartment, so it's a nice little space. Just what I need. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video. I will see you guys next week. Make sure you go check out the wall collages. They're probably going fast because they're live right now, so go check them out. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.